Hi everyone, Seth Capel, realtor here with another gorgeous model home tour. Today we are in Liberty Hill, just west of Georgetown and north of Leander. And this is Clearwater Ranch and we are visiting the model home of Sitterly Homes and this is the Abilene floor plan. So out here in Clearwater Ranch, all of the homes are on at least one acre lots. Some of them are as much as two acre and there's a few that are even more. And you get a sense of that as soon as I show you out the back door, which I'm headed straight over to. But what I love about this model right away, you get into this great room and you have very high ceilings and you're gonna see how open this floor plan is. But this is what it feels like on a beautiful one acre plus lot out here in Clearwater Ranch. And we're gonna get out to that backyard in just a moment and I'll show you all of it. But I love the beams in this great room and I wanna get straight into this stunning kitchen. There are so many beautiful selections that they chose for this model home. Of course, there's upgrades in this home, but really most of the people who build with Sitterly out here are not spending a tremendous amount on upgrades. Um, but take a look at how that fireplace mantle flows through and how the, the shelf matches the beams there in the family room. And we're gonna get back over there in just a couple of minutes. But look at this uh, farmhouse sink there on the left and you have the built-in oven there. And I love how you have that big window there looking in. It lets in so much natural light to your kitchen. You can't get really much more open than this kitchen. This is such an open floor plan. So if you're here in the kitchen, you're cooking, maybe you're doing dishes, but you're still part of everything going on in the family room, in the dining area, you're right in the middle of everything. So I originally came out here today to take video of a few aspects of the home and community for some clients I'm working with. And I'll explain a little bit more about that later. But because this type of home on this one acre plus lot size and beautiful communities like this at Clearwater, this is what's all over my YouTube channel. And so I thought I definitely want to share this with you. So I hope you enjoy it. There are several really fun surprises in this model home. Can't wait to show you. One is the primary suite has some real fun features. I'm going to get over there in just a couple of minutes, but there's also a structural upgrade that's easy to add with Sitterly that turns a really nice size, ama actually amazing guest room, but it adds an entire living space and it has a door to the outside. So that's basically like its own next gen suite. And then the game room on this home is really neat. So I'm gonna get over there as well. But let's take a look at this really good size pantry. And then I wanna get you outside in the backyard to see this amazing one acre lot filled with trees to give you an idea of what you could get out here in Clearwater Ranch. So again, this is the Abilene floor plan. It is a one story home. It's four bedrooms, three and a half baths with a three car garage and the base square footage is 3740. Okay, but that changes in this home when you add some of these additional spaces like that next gen suite that I mentioned. Okay, so, oh, and also the base price of this home is just over 1 million. It's 1 million, 9,000. And then of course it's gonna vary based on the structural options, the lot, although there are some zero premium lots out here that are one acre in size. Uh, and then there's also the upgrades and everything that you're gonna choose when you go to the design center if you're building this from the ground up. And also keep in mind, there are a few quick delivery homes and one example is a 4,300, a little bit over 4,300 square foot home, four bed, four and a half bath, three car garage, gorgeous looking home that is almost finished. So we're here in the dining room and I love the accent on this wall, that shiplap wall. Next, we're gonna head into the game room there in the back left, but let's peek out the window again. And so after I show you the game room, I'm gonna take you to the amazing primary suite and then I'm gonna get you outside to see all of that in full view. And so I'll take a quick moment to introduce myself. My name is Seth Capel. I've been a realtor for a long time now, 18 years, 
and I specialize in representing clients who are looking to build homes or purchase brand new homes. And whether that is luxury production homes, semi custom builders, or full custom builders, or looking for independent pieces of land and connecting with different custom builders. So if that's something you're interested in, I welcome you to subscribe to my channel or reach out to me anytime with questions. My contact information is in the description below. I mentioned earlier how I came out here for some clients and basically they had some questions about the community to fit what they're looking for and specifically about this model home. Now, I do this quite often for clients, especially when they're moving here from out of state. Now, sometimes it may be a FaceTime video call and other times I'm doing a video like this to share with them and show them key questions that they have and just showing them what areas of like or the builders are offering on specific houses for sale. So it's one of the ways I try to add as much value as possible for my clients. Take a look at this beautiful primary suite. That's a king size bed and those are pretty nice size nightstands and you have a little sitting area here. And I love that big picture window with the other side windows. And it's really well done how this home is almost like a little horseshoe in back. So you could really enjoy the privacy in the middle and taking a look at all of that greenery in the backyard. And here we are in the primary suite bathroom. Absolutely beautiful, love the color selections. Uh, again, I love all the windows, just, you know, it just continues to really take advantage of the beautiful setting on this lot. I love that this bathroom has the really elegant freestanding tub as well as a large walk-in shower and the marble floor look is beautiful. And so I'm gonna show you all of this as we come through. But what I was trying to explain before was my clients are looking for a builder. Either they're gonna go custom because there are things they want in their home and their plan that are not as common nowadays. Uh, and so they're either gonna go with a full custom or they might be able to go with a semi-custom. And there, there aren't that many semi-custom builders out there. Um, I would say that you have a lot of custom builders, a few that are large and many, many small time custom builders like individuals who are building custom homes and many of them build a wonderful home. Uh, and then you have, of course, the large companies, the large production builders, whether that's Toll Brothers or Perry Homes or Scott Felder, and there's you know many really good ones. Highland Homes is another one. And so there's some really good production level or luxury production home builders. But then you also have this middle category of what we call semi-custom home builder. And what that means is you still start from a floor plan. So with a custom builder, you don't have to start from a floor plan. You can start from a, a napkin or the back of an envelope and you get an architect who builds you your plan, which is wonderful, but you may not need to go that route. Um, in which case, if you do need to make some changes, most production builders won't move any walls. They won't change a plan or change an elevation but a semi-custom builder will. And Sitterly Homes falls into that middle category because they are open to moving a wall here or there or even changing an elevation. Now they have a process for that, um, but you, know, you may be in a situation where you need a really large primary suite or you wanna push the back wall of the house in the great room out 10 feet or things like that even changing the look of the front of the house they are open to doing so these are things that most builders if you go to most production builders you're going to hear the word no over and over again and so many of my clients went through that process before we started working together and of course that could be very frustrating so i recommend folks find a good very knowledgeable patient realtor early on in the process, who could guide them through what is going to happen, who takes the time to really understand all of the wants and needs from the community to the home that they want, 
In this way, if you have a, a really knowledgeable realtor of all of the different new construction options, then that realtor can guide you in the right direction, set your expectations right from the start, and truly be a resource throughout the entire process. And know that you can reach out to me anytime with questions, even if the type of property you're looking for is not right up my alley or the part of Texas you're looking for is maybe outside my area of specialty, I will let you know. And if you want, I can connect you with someone who would be an excellent fit. So as you can see here, we've been walking through the two secondary bedrooms. You have bedroom two and bedroom three, and they have this Jack and Jill type bathroom setup. They feel quite roomy. I don't have the dimensions, but they do feel roomy and you have a nice walk-in closet. Keep in mind, if there's something you see in the floor plan that you don't care for, uh, first off, Sitterly has maybe 13 different floor plans out here in Clearwater Ranch for you to start from. So right off the bat, there, there are other floor plans that are very similar with some changes and tweaks, and there are some floor plans that are very different. So we'll have to look at all of those to match your needs. Um, but you could also make small changes as I mentioned. Here we are in the beautiful library or home office here in the front of the house and the lovely on-site was so generous to let me film the house and uh, I asked her if she wanted to be in the video and she said she didn't mind at all. So she's busy working. You can tell a lot of work can get done in this home office, no problem. And here we are back in the beautiful great room space. Again, just look at the ceiling height, all of the natural light coming in, and we are on our way to the next gen suite. Now, normally this would be a really good size uh, guest house or just bedroom, you know, really like a bedroom suite. And it would even come with this high ceiling and this cathedral high ceiling. So that comes on the base plan. But if you want to add the uh, guest house with sitting room and kitchenette option, you are gonna get this additional living space here, which is phenomenal in my opinion. You have a sitting area, you have a dining area, you have the kitchen area here with the, even a pantry. This is really set up like its own apartment. It has its own entrance outside uh, which is just great and a really nice bathroom with a nice walk-in shower, which I'm going to show you as well So it's just nice that that they provide such a great Base guest house with the with again with that cathedral ceiling. That's not really a typical just guest room But again, you could take it this step further to get this additional living room space with the kitchenette Note that all of these floors throughout the main living spaces are a engineered wood flooring. They feel really nice. They look luxurious when you are in person. I'm not sure exactly how that comes through on the video, but I could tell you that from my opinion, these floors are really nice. And I'm curious of your thoughts of all the different materials throughout the home. So if you have a moment at the end of the video to share a comment with me, let me know the materials you loved or let me know something that you didn't care for. I would love to hear that. I'm always trying to gauge what people think of the homes that I'm taking videos of. Personally, I love when the showers have that nice river rock floor uh, and I love the look of this shower as well. But I love that river rock floor because I feel like it's less prone for slipping than a large tile format. It also feels nice when you're standing on it. <laughs> Here we are in a pretty good sized walk-in closet for a guest suite. Again, this is basically a guest apartment, so it's really good to have a nice size closet. If someone's going to be staying here for an extended period of time, maybe full time, they're going to need a big closet. So I'll give you a bit of info on house prices in the Clearwater Ranch market, and this includes resale homes. Uh, so as of right now, and we are in March 2024, uh, you have a home that was built in 2015 over one acre lot, and that home is listed right around $769.9. And then you have several between that price and a million, 
and then you have several other homes. I think all of these are brand new homes between a million and even 1.75. So, okay, we're out here finally on the outdoor living covered patio. And I'll point out a few things. Again, there are structural options that Sitterly will put in. You have the outdoor kitchen option there. Uh, I love that tongue and groove ceiling that they put up. Um, but you have a couple of different options for the outdoor kitchen. And then you have another option to add a outdoor fireplace, which they do not have in this model home, but that is an option. And so you get out here, you're on your large one acre plus lot, the beautiful trees, and this is just stunning. Of course, you have plenty of room if you wanted to add a sport court or a swimming pool or even a detached casita or something like that. So you have the space to do what you want out here. And as you look at the back of the home, it is so pretty. It's just beautifully done, a beautiful rear elevation of this home. And again, just so many trees around. And you see the fence line there on the back right. It goes pretty far back where this property is going to end. So so much space here and you have there the garage on the right side uh, so there's the big three-car garage and the driveway there on the right side so this is the type of lot that you can get in Clearwater Ranch and uh, they all have a minimum of one acre and some of them are even larger one and a half or approximately two acres and a few are even bigger than that so if that's something you're looking for where you want the land size but you also want a very manicured community feel with lots going on and nice neighbors and everything like that, you may want to consider Clearwater Ranch. There are a few different builders out here and I have worked with all of them over the years. So reach out to me if you have any questions about Clearwater or the different builders out here. So we need to get back inside because there are still, believe it or not, a couple of spaces that you have not seen yet that are really important. And while I've talked about semi-custom building, I want to share with you several things about custom building and buying land and specifically mistakes that people make, three main mistakes people make when buying land. So, okay, we're here back in the main living space and that door straight in front goes to your large three-car garage. You have the powder room right here on the right, and this is your drop zone for your backpack and boots and coat and stuff. And so here's the powder room, and then next I am gonna show you the utility laundry room. Now, understand that there is an option where you can add cabinetry with Sitterly in the utility space. So those cabinets go on the back wall there, and here you would have your washer, your dryer, Plenty of room for other things. So if you wanted a fridge or, or and like I said, they have an option for cabinetry. So like I said, I wanna share with you information about custom building and specifically about buying land and the three main mistakes that people make when buying land. So I'd like to invite you to click on the video on the left side of your screen. It's a stunning home and I review custom building and I review buying land and the main mistakes people make. And thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.